Sharp. Yeah. Oh, this moves so much easier. The good one? Yeah. <laughs> right, hang on. There's quite a few decisions there. You're sort of, you're sort of okay, but if we move it up very slightly, then you've got, got to have a gap on each side. Appreciate the amount of work that oh, goes into absolutely. it. When you see a beautiful one, you can say, oh, that they're not cheap, obviously, because of the amount of work. Clearly, Prince William would be lovely. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Hey, I've met his mother, so I might as well meet him, right? <laughs> <laughs>
stretch in both the, so this is like a little what whatever that is called. yeah uh polyester no oh poly maybe maybe but i mean it's uh no not polyester uh whatever stretch is called nowadays <laughs> oh i, I mean, know what you mean what the fibers that have got the yes what they're using the underwear and things yeah i can't remember what it's called now <laughs> i know what you mean and now there is you know of course there is uh I mean, this feels like it could be. Uh, can't think of the word. Good lord. Uh, Something text. Not play text. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually thinking more horrible things. Uh, there is something. Uh, there are these these wonderful things that you can wear. Yeah. What, that holds it all in? Yes. Yeah, I don't know exactly what you mean. Like the Spanx. Spanx right. was the word I was yeah. looking for. Thank uh, you. Right. But the actual fabric is something tex. I can't remember what it's... Yes. Yeah. Because obviously, don't, you can get other brands. <laughs> Not just Spanx. And I, I suppose if, you know, if you... I'm really sure Marks and Spencer's do a quite a good version. Well, yes. But yeah, I think, you know, if I wanted to do this, I'd rather just get a real corset, right? Might as well go all out and pull it really in. Oh, dear. I just don't know if that... Uh, if with, Patrick, oh. you've lost weight. You don't need any space. Well, <laughs> you have, actually, haven't you? Yes. You've uh, lost quite a bit of weight, a bit since, like myself. Since last year, it's uh, all... April, yeah, it's all that I work. lost 24 kilos. That yeah. is... I'm not surprised. Uh, well, it was, you know, I gained the weight because we quit smoking during COVID. Yeah. First couple of months. And of course, that was all my cousin's fault. She's a doctor. <laughs> and she said, you need to quit smoking. This is, and of course we did. And we, one day we, we did, um, actually on the same day. And so here we are uh, yeah. in COVID times. Uh, nothing is open. You can't, and it was winter in the Midwest of right. the United States. So, what that meant was that there was uh, nothing was open. You can't go outside and jog because it's 20 to 30 degrees below yeah. freezing Celsius, that is. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's really horrible. And, yeah, there we were. And uh, it, weight can creep up on you, can't it? <laughs> I'm uh, sure quite a lot of people put weight on during the uh, lockdowns. Yes. They're all stuck indoors. There's not much else to do except to watch the TV and yep. watch YouTube and eat things. Yep. And uh, and then, you know, quitting smoking so your metabolism yeah. is slower anyways. It wasn't pretty. So, but it's, you know, so I lost quite a bit of weight already, which is nice, but... Mm. Yeah, I've really noticed it lately. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and I did not, so... Ah, no, no, I have. When I was watching the vlog back the other day, when you did the urns on the top of the gate, yeah, definitely. So are you, uh, we are kind of going for everything has the same It's not going to be perfect. Because otherwise yes. um, it looks just not right. Don't forget right. that you're going to turn the top over, so you want to take that down, probably ah. about half an inch down, so you've got a Oh, I have, well, you want to turn it twice, don't you? Get the string in the middle. Maybe right. Turn so, it down. Yes. So you'll probably have to cut it. But this is great. Uh, so you'll have to cut it on an angle like that, won't you? But I can always do that. Yes. Afterwards. Uh, yeah. When I when I sew it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tr attempt to. Actually, do... if you cut the material like that and leave it in a strip. Don't forget you're going, oh yeah, you're going both ways, aren't you? You can't do it that end, can you? If you're going to use that end, that will be right. Because you've got to, you've got to give yourself a gap on each side. Are yes. You me? No. Right, hang on. <laughs> There's poison through the scissors there. You're sort, of, you're sort of okay, but if we move that up very slightly, then you've got, got to have a gap on each side because we're going to be using these pieces oh, as well. Oh, of course, yeah? yes. Oh, do you mean I should sever it? Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I like it. That, no, no, I, I like it. I like it. It's, hey, I, you know, I, I'm, let's see. Okay, I am cutting three thick layers right now. I'm sure it'd be lovely when you get there. Yeah, wow. 
Oh, so it's let's doing it okay, see. Though, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's okay. I'm only doing well, I'm doing two thinner layers at a time. I'm yes. doing them individually because it's easy for me. But of course, you're absolutely right because we need it. Yes, we need for the other side. Yeah. We need the same. Okay. And if need be, I can sew these together. And we have a. <laughs> <not> one. <laughs> I don't think we need to do it yet. No. I but, think we'll just use whatever we can manage that. Uh, yeah, however many uh, whole ones we can Our manage. little, our little supervisor oh. is passed out under oh, the table. Oh, oh, she's happy. Just so you know, I mean, it's... Uh... <laughs> that doesn't make very good noise, does it? It does not. It, it is, there is... Uh... Yes. Alright. So... Oh, okay. uh, but it's, <laughs> but it's the always... podcast is not brilliant for this weekend. No, maybe. no, it's not. Although I think I, I think we are done with a really cold weather, aren't yeah, we? Please, I think so. But uh, we are going to have some wet. Well, yes, and I, I really every time we have <laughs> hello Nessa, when we have all this this hello Nessa baby, we have the horrible rains. Yeah. Boy, I mean, we did have some really bad rains lately, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, and I think I said that, lady, but that, hello, Nessa. Oh, oh. <laughs> mm. yes. Are you wiggling? Are you wiggling? Yes. Um, when we have the, the spring rains, it's, we will be less likely to have a drought in the summer. Yes. Because the, the water table is coming up. Yeah, the yes. river's got a reasonable amount in it at the moment. It's not as high as it sh probably should be still. Well, the but, share you know. that is, is really quite high. Oh, we're talking about my river that goes at the well, bottom of the garden. But well, yeah. Which is it? Is it? Are you on the Oron? It goes into the share, eventually. Yes. Uh, uh, which then eventually goes into the Loire, which the share does. So. Did you... Um, so one thing that uh, I have to... I, have to <laughs> I, put it, I put it out there on camera now. One thing that bothers me a lot is that you have all these Chateau de la Loire, right? And yes. then they put Chenonceau in it. Chenonceau is built across, across the, the Cher. Cher. But it is actually in the Loire Valley. Well, the, because the, the, the Cher joins up with the Loire. But it's the department of the Loire. But yes. it is over the Cher. So it's actually yeah. a, a, a chateau in of yes. the Cher, which so we are living on. If I put say poo sticks in yes. my river at the end of my garden yes. with a little note or a message in a bottle maybe yeah a little note it could theoretically end up going underneath the chateau it de chalons yes yes in, yeah or even out to sea eventually but um yeah in a, in a couple of days <laughs> it would probably get caught on a falling down tree or something <laughs> along the way but yeah Perhaps we should try that, a message in a bottle and see how far it went. Yeah, that would be really fun. Well, yeah. Sometimes when they Actually, find... Actually, we could do that on our coronation do. We could all put a coronation message in a bottle and oh, place it off down the river. I love that idea. I think we might have a few empty bottles. <laughs> we might want well, one or two, maybe. One or two, yeah. Oops, oh wait. Uh, Look at that. Excellent. I mean, it's. I, I did not think I yeah. could cut this many. Get in there now. Once you get going, it's all right. It's, uh, it is, yeah. Well, you know, it's. Oh, you doing more at a time. Preparation is always takes longer than the actual work. Yeah. Good preparation. Yeah, he's, he's got door, a door and a window he wants to get put in this week. I mean, he just got them, but right, but it's, yeah. it's great that they're there. Yeah. yeah because they're know. there now. Right. <laughs> And we he need needs to do everything yesterday, doesn't he, Tony? Yeah, yeah. and it's like we're just, you know, we're, we're very much like Tony in a way that we yeah. can't, once it's there, we need to do it. People say to me on the vlog, like the one that I put out when we were doing the millstone, well, why don't you ask Patrick and Stuart to come and help? Well, if I had any advanced warning that I, Tony I, wanted to do that at that precise moment, I would have I asked. said exactly, <laughs> I, I said to Stuart, why didn't they but, call us? But it, it, Tony is exactly. But it's like Tony wants to do it just, now. Yes, and you just do it, and then you go, okay, yeah. I'm done. I mean, there are some and projects makes... where we can ask for help, obviously. Yes, but it was really yeah. hysterical to watch you because, <laughs> you know, 
Oh, no. It was funny, actually, while we laughed at it ourselves when we watched it back. It yes, hilarious. and it's, you know, anyone who, who actually knows Johnny, right? Yeah. So. And some other people said, oh, I wouldn't let him shout at me like that. Well, that's just Tony. He doesn't mean it. He's no. Just, it's, he gets oh. frustrated because he's trying to tell me to do something and I don't always understand what he's telling me. So we work well together. Well, it is together. difficult. You know, so. Yeah. Stop in work here. Just out the supervisor. <laughs> Okay, sweetheart, I do, because I'm going to go to a coronation party, so I need oh. to. <laughs> you suck. Oh, oh, good Lord. Excuse me. Are you a cutie? Okay, yes, okay, sweetheart. How about this? Yes, how about this? How about this? How about we put you? <laughs> okay. Okay. Is this my oh. <laughs> my break? Is this my break, sweetheart? Yeah, I think uh, yeah. I'm trying to tell you something. You work too hard. Oh, I'm exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, but I do have to get on a little. Thank you. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, she will come right back. I mean, that's... Oh, no, she's She has no... If she wants to be hugged, she has no hesitation. She's like, yeah. no, you're not done. Now, I hope this is good enough for Tony. <laughs> sure it is. Well, he's a bit of a perfectionist too, right? So... <laughs> it is with what he does. Yeah, he's not critical. He's no, he's critical not. critical of himself. I've, I've never heard yeah. him actually be critical. So. He's actually very supportive, especially of me. Um, for instance, I hadn't done any artwork for years since I was at school. And I, I sort of, I came out here and spent the summer out here. And Tony would come and join me at the weekends. This was before we moved permanent. Right. And it gave me a chance to start doing some painting. I, I only painted rocks to start with. Yes. It's been a little bit of a hobby that I started with my grandchildren. We used to paint rocks and hide them. Something called Love on the Rocks. Have you okay. heard of that? No, that's fantastic It's idea. absolutely brilliant. Somebody came up with it. I think it was probably during lockdown. It might have been before, but it got really popular because... Um, Children can paint, they can paint rocks, they can stick pretty pictures on rocks, yes. you know, glue things on and whatever. And then what they do is they go out for a walk around the local park with us, it used to be down to the seafront, and they would hide them. And then there was a Facebook page, and the parents could go on there and put little hints about that, oh, we've been down to the beach at so and so today, and we took several rocks with us and things, and go to the zoo, and, and they would find these rocks, and it's like finding treasure. And then they got to keep their favourite ones, or they painted one themselves and put it back for somebody else to find. Well, that is nice. Just was such a lovely thing. Yeah, that is really neat. And it really took off. So I started doing it with the grandchildren, but then I actually got quite good at painting things on rocks. <laughs> and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I I'll glaze it afterwards and use it as a paperweight. Or right. In the, uh, I, I did some with all the herb names on and put them all in the garden. That, oh, that's, that's so I right. got back into painting again, which was quite big fun. Um, and, and Tony's always been so supportive of that. That's why he made me buy that easel when we were at the yes. antique place. He made me buy the easel because I was on an R and said, will I ever use it? Because he does want me to get on and... And do some more, so I think I probably will now. And it is a lot of fun. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, I, mean, I did I not paint. Totally enjoy it. Yeah, I didn't paint for thirty years, and then stood. Yeah. Said, oh, you had how many years of art classes? And well, including thirteen years. So these are like. Yeah. And I was actually always good in in arts, and that's why all the the paintings in this room. Uh, one is an antique uh, from the late 18, 1800s. Yeah. The two big ones, of course, certain I painted together, which was a yeah. lot of fun. And a lot of people can't do this. I mean, if some people, if they paint, I'm, I'm no you fantastic can't. painter, but I actually quite appreciate some of the things that I can. Oh do. yeah, and it's it's uh, you know it is quite lovely to yeah. to do this. Uh, I have to to say that this is more 
uh, these are more triangles than I thought we would get. <laughs> yeah. Way more. I mean, it's see, lovely. Yeah, see? see, some people might criticise our bunting, but we're going to love it. What? Because we made it. <laughs> well, yes, and, and it's, you know... And we have fun making it. <laughs> yeah, and it's bunting yeah. for... Uh, you know, for, for fun. It's not, we're not selling this for no. huge amounts of money. <laughs> Do you think we could? Uh, no, I doubt it, actually. No. Sorry. That's so, I mean, I, I, I... I'm always up for some sort of money-making scheme. I'm always... Uh, I, you know, yeah. this, this... I. We've all run enough businesses over the years to think, oh, can we make money out of that? <laughs> and there are things sometimes where you can make money out of something. And, you know, clearly, Stuart, yeah. I have to start earning some money because... Although I don't want to be evicted from, from the chateau, no. right? I mean, that would be sad. <laughs> but... But you're working to that, aren't you? You have yes. obviously been prepping the jeet again. Um, yes, and now And that will be ready for the summer, right? Yes. Yes, I think, you know, it's, it is quite a lovely space. I mean, it's very... It's cosy. Yeah. Well, it's going to give you a little bit of an income, but you do need a yes. little bit more than that. Yes. They're still barking. Oh, there's something out there. Oh, hang on, not this end. What are they out here? We are barking out the back door for. That is, uh. Yeah, and. and see, so this is one of the. <laughs> you won't see it from the ground. <laughs> Looks like a very tiny pair of knickers. <laughs> <laughs> they said it wouldn't fit me or yeah. you, Patrick. <laughs> no, no, we're, we're not. We're not, no, we're not doing tiny. No, we? no. We leave that to tiny people. Oh, darn. Right. Okay. Okay. So, should we have a counter? You had thirty-four. You might not need that. But... <laughs> hey, I'm doing it. Oh. Loads. So, one, two. Just so that I get these together. Right. You might not need those, Patrick. You've already got extra. I know, ones. I know, but I have the, the remnants I have. Oh, that one's a little bit wonky, but never mind. All right, I'll sort of You're talking about me again, aren't you? No, I'm talking about my triangle, actually. My tri <laughs> this triangle is a little bit a little bit lopsided. I'm going to try and straighten them up slightly. Yeah. You know, when they did, for the, the coronation of Queen Elizabeth, I mean, it was right after the war. I mean, not yeah, right well, after the war. They, but, no, things were still on ration, though. I remember my mother Right, and people me. just made do. So, just thinking about that, right? So, it's... Um, yeah, look at that. I, I think they look just actually adorable. <laughs> they do look rather cute. And yeah. look, look at this. It has... <laughs> it is stretchy in, in both directions, which oh. is interesting. So, if you want to do the... I don't know how many we need. Oh, dear. The count for the... For all of them. Ha, Shall ha, we ha. just, uh, yeah. Then we've got to decide on the gaps between them. By the way, I did tell for the delivery, I did ask them to hunk. Yeah. For attention. But whether that gets passed on. We put it in the computer, so <laughs> I have to believe it. Otherwise, I go bonkers. Oh. More bonkers than everybody am. Right. And they're not exactly even, but they're not bad. Hey, you know what? They're homemade. Exactly, they are definitely. How many? <laughs> how many people have have homemade bunting? Really? Oh. I mean, there, there are of course people, but I know we have our, we have plastic bunting as well. But right. it's just we wanted to have a little bit of a homemade touch for some of it. Like you know, and I think it's just. It's also fun, and it's a, a time-honored exactly. tradition. Don't forget that, right? It's like making your own Christmas decorations. It's part of Christmas. It's like yes, you need to go and buy things. Well, anyone can do that. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's the thing. It's yeah to to make things on our own and, and okay. Yeah, the the, the, <laughs> the little blue ones are a bit. 
sad. Oh, just sad. No, I mean, they're just a bit face. small. Exactly what it is. But if you look at this, I mean, this is uh, the, the ones I sewed together, and this is the size of the ones oh, I cut. So God. they're a bit, but we can put them at the ends. They're be little baby, baby, baby bunting. There's a nursery so, rhyme about that, isn't there? Baby bunting. I don't know. Hello, yeah. sweetheart. Hello, Ember Ember. Yes, here you can go. Yes. Cry okay. baby bunting. There you are. Okay. Now, how, many you, how many do you have? Never mind, right. Okay, well. Let me just check it. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 31, 32, 34. I have 36 whites. Okay. So is so, there more whites than anything else? or? I don't know. Let's, so, I, let's see. How many? I'll count the reds, shall I? Yes, please. Okay. Well, let's lay them out like you did. This well, is actually quite lovely to have the <laughs> that view. I mean, and oh yes, some of these. See, this is wonky because it has because you've got the top yes. to, to turn. Yeah, but see, once it's like not this, going to be perfect. No, once it's like this, it, it's, it looks great. Yeah. But uh, and I do need to cut the corners off. Well, I might as well do that while I'm here. Ow. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> so sad. Yeah, because when you fold it over, that's going to stick out that way, isn't it? So you're just going to have to nick the corners yes. you have, there's, a there's little there's bit. No, yeah. As no you way around on. that. Anyway. And for the white we, whites, we don't need to do that. Um, no, because they're sewn. Right. Well, they're, yeah, they are sewn and folded over. So that's why we used that, wasn't it? To reuse the material. Okay, so we need to leave ourselves probably a metre on each end so, so we can tie it up somewhere. Oh, definitely. At least, uh, how's it go? Here we go, it's what my mum does, there we go. <laughs> That's about, no, it's not a metre, is it? It's half a metre. No, it is about a metre, actually. Is it? Yeah. She does it from her nose to the tip of her finger. That's true, I guess it's When she's measuring okay, fabric. Hold on, you can just... Yeah, it actually probably is. Oops. Oh. Do it! <laughs> 102. Yeah, it's not bad then, is it? I must have yep. long, long fingers. Yep, just or a long nose. <laughs> anyway. It's, it's the nails. So, I'll so. demonstrate this. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, yes, yes, you yeah, have, you hang do on, have to. Uh... Alright, I'm going to show people what we're talking about. <laughs> Let me get out of the picture so you can get in the are. picture. I'm just demonstrating how my mum measures her fabric. Is it on the end of your nose to the end of your fingers? And that has actually we measured it at 102. Yes. So that's not very far off, is it? No, that is so. <laughs> so we we'll leave too... at least a metre, maybe two. I think, yeah, leave a couple of metres because we've got to tie it up somewhere. We're right. not sure where it's going yet. There we are, two metres. So now you still. So that's have the starting two. point. <laughs> We still have to cut all these corners. They're more of a diamond shape at the moment. Yeah, so you just kind because of... of the turnover bit on the top. Ooh. Ow! Ah! Ow! Ow! <laughs> I knew it was too many. Yeah, you're trying to cut corners. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> I would call it trying to be practical, but you know. <laughs> Very often when we try to be practical, we're actually kind of stupid. Oh dear. It's true. I'm going to tie a little knot there so that we know where the two metres be, so I don't have to keep holding it. There we are. Okay, so you go over there. There we are, so we're going from the knot onwards. And, oh. So are we do oh. red, white and blue? Blue, white and red? White, blue and red? What are we doing? <laughs> we're going to do one, one and one. Well, obviously, but, yeah. Uh, in no particular order. <laughs> no, but no, you know, it's just it's red, white, and blue. One thing that just occurred to me. Do you say that in the in the states, red, white, and blue? Yes. I don't know why we always say red first. Red, white, and I don't blue. Know. Well, it's, it's the dominant color, I think, right? Maybe. Um, so we need to. Well, theoretically, we want to put this through here, but we don't have to. I can just hold it. And we zigzag over it like this. Well, I think they're separate anyway, so. Oh, they are. I mean, pretty much because. Oh, okay. Then, where then I had to cut it, and it was right. Tight. It's gone to a point, so I have had 
can actually omit that, split that. Um, but most of them are separate. I just pulled that thread. Okay. There. Oh, should I look see if you've got the delivery? Let's go. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> for them to uh, thread through or just sew it directly on the string? That apply directly to the forehead. Okay. Almost. Actually, I should <laughs> do this the other way around so I can actually see. <laughs> ah, help. That was the Beatles though. <laughs> so I still haven't found uh, what, who is actually performing at the court? I know Katy Perry is. Um, oh, at well, the concert, that's on the Sunday evening, isn't it? Right, but we're not going to be there, but we're not going to talk about that. Uh, we're, we're going somewhere plans. secret. <laughs> but uh, Stuart and I did something very special. Somewhere funny. very exciting. <laughs> we, you know, sometimes when you do YouTube, you go down the rabbit hole and you don't stop. <laughs> so we did that yesterday. Right. Uh, we looked up every contestant. Oh yeah, because Eurovision. Oh, for the is coming up. Yeah, for the Eurovision de la Chanson. And in Liverpool this year, isn't it? Yes, for, for Ukraine. Of Ukraine. Yeah. And so we looked up every song at first that had more than three and a half stars, four stars, <laughs> and then we went down the rabbit hole, and whoever had only two stars so far, we looked at that too, and. Some people deserve didn't even deserve that. But there are okay. some really good It's always a little bit political though, isn't it? It's not always about the song. Right, no, that's correct. Right. It's obviously do Americans understand the Eurovision Song no. Contest? No, most of them don't. I do because I've paid attention to it. And I'm right. Asking, but okay. Most, most of them probably don't even know it even exists. Exactly, so. exactly. But it's, I mean so So we, it's a song contest and it's for Europe. Yes. Well, and it's now it contain I mean it, uh, contestants are from there are uh, Malta, now, yeah, uh, is Australia. Australia in it as well. I'm not it's, quite sure how they class as being from Europe, but and I, I, told, I told Patrick we talked um, about it last night. I said, well, I guess I think it's because they're part of the Commonwealth. Well, yeah, I guess I guess if the, technically your yeah. ruler is uh, the head of state, yeah. right? So there you go. So uh, if they leave the Commonwealth, they should not be allowed to perform. Well, that's true. I'm just saying. Okay. Australia, anyway, it. it's a little bit of a cult thing. It it's is. been going as well, it's been going as long as I can remember. Because oh, I can remember right. yeah, when yes. I was a child I remember watching it. Oh my god. There wasn't much else on to watch. Row. Is uh, 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 Ireland won three years in a row. Ireland have won quite a lot of times. Yes. The and UK has won a few times. Yeah, Sweden. Sweden, obviously very famous ABBA. ABBA, ABBA they oh, won my. it. It was fantastic. And we did so there are oh three songs we really like. So one is Israel. Yes. That woman can, is gorgeous and can belt. I mean, yes. Okay. The French, the French one is actually really good. I've not Stunning. heard it yet. Yes. Okay. Uh, and who was the third one? There was a third that we really liked. Uh, not Estonia. I have to go back now. But really fantastic. Right. Uh, that, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Oh, hello. So will you be watching it on the night? Because they, they have a few heats running up to the final. Yes. Which lasts for several hours. And it's usually broadcast live in the UK. And then all the votes come in. Yes. Every country gets to vote first place, second place, third place. And as we said, it's it can be quite political sometimes. And it has gotten much more difficult than it used to be. Because well, it's very... How many exactly. were 12 countries? But right exactly Ireland. last time, obviously, everybody voted for Ukraine for obvious reasons because of the war in Ukraine. So right. that was in support of Ukraine. Doesn't necessarily mean that it was the best song. Okay, no. So, <laughs> uh, so I did this just as a simple... Perfect. No, it's not a tube. So is that okay? That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just, it's, cause it's no, not... I'm loving it. Okay. Yeah. It's a bit brilliant. So now because we just I need to decide on the gap between penance. Oh yeah, there's that. Okay. But I, I wanted to actually, Stuart, we, 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 I probably do this oh. and then again over. Roll it twice, yeah. But this is, look what this is, Stuart. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, a, little, it's, it's a little yes. bit stretchy, yeah. It's yeah. not quite... And so they had an actually quite, it's quite a large gap in there, isn't it? Yeah, so. and we, we've cut ours, ours are shorter triangles than those, because right. we've made ours so slightly smaller. Yeah. So. 
But, right. Yeah. And, yeah, I think maybe a little bit shorter gap than that. Yeah. 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 But they shouldn't it's touch same. one another. No, no, no. <laughs> well, they can do, but yeah, a little gap. So. That, well, and it may be something that's easy to measure. Yeah. You know, something... Just find something that's easy to just measure the gap between. Yeah, so if it's sort of consistent. There. What, your hand? Yes, hand. Perfect. Just someone can with this, great. That's just a car. Oh, good. No, that's, that's perfect. That's perfect, yes. Brilliant. I love it. Yeah, no, this brilliant. is, so this is, uh, it's the same hand width, but it just, you know, ish. Oh, no, it doesn't, it's not got to be perfect, Patrick. Yes, it does. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't, but... So maybe, I mean, it's a bit short notice this year, and we've got a big event just beforehand, but maybe next year we could have a Eurovision party. We should. Yeah. We should, absolutely. We but could do the, several different people will all bring a different course for dinner or something, and we could have a big... Yeah. Don't you, I mean, okay, this was, I, th I thought I had that thought yesterday. <laughs> I was thinking if anyone at the, was planning the coronation, there might have been someone who suggested the weekend out later, right? And they would have looked at the calendar and said, no, 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 you can't do that. No coronation <laughs> on the Eurovision weekend. No. I'm sure that happened. Of course I, it does. Of course it does. It's, you know, it's huge, the yeah. Euro contest. <laughs> okay. I, this is actually going to be quite long, isn't it? Yes. Brilliant. It's actually getting a bit twiddled up there, isn't it? Can I help by... I'm kind of untwisting it. Oh, see? It's because it's coming from the middle. That's great. That's brilliant. That is great, isn't it? That is brilliant. I love punting. It's very cheerful. It, it absolutely it is. And it's, you know, this is not going to be the same length, I mean, uh, uh, width or all that, because our triangles yeah, are not all the same, completely the same size, but... I can't really do much to help, can I? Well, you know, it's, I, I know, doing this by myself would be really boring, so yes, you are actually oh. doing it. Maybe Stuart's making us a cocktail. Oh. oh, I think we've gone far enough where we could actually get away with it. I think so too. <laughs> I don't know about cocktail, but... You know, the thing is, is also, this does need to be finished today. We're still waiting on the sofa being delivered though, don't forget. What's your point? Well, we need to be able to <laughs> manoeuvre the sofa. <laughs> I think we can manage. I, I do. Yeah. If you don't have to stay till this is all done. Well, of course I do. No. Yeah. It's fun. Well, it's fun just having it's... a chat, isn't it? But well, yes, it is. We're achieving something while we're having a chat. <laughs> one curl as we go. Now I know how to do this. I mean, so I, I get more the routine of where do I need to yeah, put this and how. Yeah, the more you do it, the easier it gets, doesn't it? Yeah, it's and, and it's, you know, and then it's fun. <laughs> I think we're going to get something. Well, guess what we found in the barn? We're telling you here up in the barn. Yes. And we'll see, uh, that's a happy sort of thing. It's a secret at the moment. There was this great big slab of sun popped against the wall, which has been there since, what is this, probably this. Uh, they took away lots of things that we said, don't leave it all, don't worry about clearing everything, but they didn't take this away. And we never took much notice of it until we finally started clearing out that part of the barn. But it looks, look from the back of it, it looks like a shower tray. So I said, what do you think that is? I said, I don't know, what is it? An old sink? No. Shower tray? No. We turned it around, it's a gravestone. <gasps> oh my. <laughs> it's a gravestone and it's got a French woman's name on it who was born in 1897 and died in 1961. Wow. What's that doing in my barn? <laughs> 
Yeah. That's been I, made for quite an interesting discovery on my blog. Yes. Yeah. So right. I'm going to try and get people to guess. <laughs> I yes. think Tony got something we could have a competition. What we do is we get everybody to guess, and the first person who guesses it right gets to gets to keep it if they come and collect it. Because <laughs> it weighs a ton. <laughs> no. So she knows the dogs by now, so she's not not hesitant <laughs> to pet them. Yeah. But at the beginning, she was like, oh, okay. Yeah, there's rather a lot of them. They can be a bit scary. There's a pack of them, yeah. True. Especially as they all come running over. Aha. Uh -huh. oh. oh, yes. Oh, good Lord. Thank Hello, you. Hello, Doc. So glad. This you... is for Jane. Yes. Oh. We forgot and forgot and forgot. Sorry. Oh, wow. Sorry, I have to show people. Oh, hang on. I've just dropped that completely. Yeah, so that's a calendar that I designed. Brilliant. We took all the photos that are in there. Yeah, of course, it's got your logo on it. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do photos you from other people. You took all the photos. Yes, and no, that's... No, you can't uh, use other people's. Right, and uh, that's uh, for sale on our Zazzle site. Website. Wow. Yeah. Excellent. That's oh, thank you. you. You're welcome. Lovely. Oh, I've got to look at all the pictures now. I'm not going to give it all away, obviously. Oh, oh where's that? Lang Is there... Longieri? Oh, very nice. Uh, he's doing really well. There is actually quite a bit already. Oh, yeah. Now. Right. Obviously, I know that one on the that one on the front. Oh, I chucked it again. That one on the front is Chanel. So I've been in there with my daughter, Sherry. Um, that's really worth a visit. And that is the River Cher, as we were talking about earlier, weren't we? The River oh, Cher. Yes. Although it's in the Loire Valley, it actually crosses the River Cher. Well, obviously you have visited them all a few photos. Well, yes, a few. But yeah. actually, because we have, we actually have quite a few that we have not seen. Have yes. Seen. Yeah. Jean oh. Bord and those. The, so I like to actually get those, and then I can just sort of mix those in with those. And yeah. Have more. Of course, uh, yes. Calendar. Wow. And what we got? This is really lovely quality as well. This. Beauregard, what, what did you go to Beauregard? That was to buy the furniture, wasn't yes, it? Yes, pick it up, yes. Yeah. Oh, tour, but the Museum of Beaux Arts, the tours. I think I've been to that one. Ah, Chateau de Sommel. I haven't been inside yet. But it's we pretty either. impressive, Sommel. It is, but we, were, we went there and that was the day it was closed. Oh, well, we haven't we, actually been inside it, but we actually sat on on a terrace on yeah. the other side yeah, of the you, river you and around. had lunch. Yes. Oh, lovely. Yeah, with that as the view. And they, uh, unfortunately, at the time, it had a lot of scaffolding up because they were doing a lot of work to it. Well, you know, but when, it's you, beautiful. when you're there, it's, I mean, you have to walk up the ramparts. I mean, it is quite a, a hike to get up there. Yeah. And then it was closed. Oh. And ah, now, Montreux, but Montreux, Montreux. Montreux. Belay. This is one of the first places when we decided we wanted to buy a house in France. This is one of the first towns that we looked at. And we actually saw a beautiful property that was five stories. Oh. I'm so glad now that we never bought oh. it. It had the most enormous stone spiral staircase and the most enormous stone fireplace. And it was beautiful. And it was used as a B and B. But thinking about it now. Obviously, as we're going into retirement, and if you wanted to run it as a B and B, it'd be an awful lot of stairs every day and up and down. And as you're getting oh. older, and your knees start going, yeah. it's not a good idea. So I'm no. quite glad that we didn't buy it in the end. But this was almost opposite this chateau, and this is a wine-producing chateau as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we loved it as a town, and we were. This is what we were looking for something that was in a town that would have a few restaurants and things and sure. bars and mm -hmm. a bit of life um and they have yeah. good restaurants there they do i mean it's yeah. lovely we're another 1990 galley capture <laughs> how many did we have again mm -hmm. it looks like you've done 10 of each that's it. So you've only... <laughs> oh my God, I'm I slow. I've 26 of each to go. <laughs> I'm horribly slow. If you were to say, Patrick, did I see you put a needle in your mouth? And I, I did. I do that all the time. Pins, yeah. Pins. But so you, that's how my grandmother 
So, so I mean, that's why every time, red is the only one I pick up both because I <laughs> did this. Um, but so I'm used to it, right? So from my grandmother. And mm -hmm. It, but it's interesting, and of course she's right, it is, you know, dangerous, and I always think, I need a needle uh, question, I sure don't have. But, um, it's also it's interesting, because, you know, no, but it's oh. also interesting because when you, you know, whatever you are used to, is what Actually, sticks with you. See, we need to find we some pink cushions. We need to make one, Magic. That oh yeah, there's that. That's so tough to make each other pink cushions. I actually <laughs> saw a YouTube vlog just recently where somebody made one on the top of a little jar, and it's quite cute because the little jar had lots of buttons and things in it. Oh and yes, the top okay. Of it was made into a pin cushion, and it was really pretty. That is interesting. Yeah. But I've always wanted one that you can strap around your wrist because that yes. really makes more sense. To put it on your wrist and it's to hand. It, it, yeah, yes. you know, with a bit of Velcro and. And yeah, yeah. Stephanie actually at, at um, Chateau Diaries, if I remember correctly, she has one that is glued to an old saucer. Oh. I thought that was cute too. But again, pretty, yes. You see these right. ideas and you think, oh, that's really clever. Uh, yes, and then I say, I need to make that too, and then it yeah. never happens. <laughs> oh, no, but. Yeah. Well, it's. It's not like we don't have any other things to do with uh, it. No, we have a lot of things to do. We could keep ourselves busy forever. It, yeah. Oh, yeah. I could always find myself a little project to do. If I ever run out of things to do, I could go on YouTube and find mine to know projects and think, oh, that's a good idea. I might probably do that. It is so <laughs> true. It's... Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's what they say, isn't it? Be prepared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, no, I... And since you know, there was the there. farm and all that, so um, I didn't need the, the Boy Scouts. There's a cutter, is there not? There's what? Yeah. What was that? Oh! It's a cutter. Oh, dear, good lord. Who knew? Hey, I'd rather than go. I just like my sis, my shoes. I know, but it's, it's <laughs> I had no idea that they make and videos. You, know you they make videos I, of, don't they? That you never really notice. I cannot see. I have to. Now but I know it's there. Bring the that is funny. Towards you, and it will just. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you are. So you do this. Yeah. Lovely. And it's perfect. Look, it cuts it to the perfect length here. Yes, which there I'm good are. at not <laughs> having the, the perfect length. And then you unthread your machine. Oh, I uh, hate that. Hey. But then I don't need my beautiful shears. So I'm still going to use oh. them. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to use the scissors. Blue. Give me blue. Why do we still have so much red? I know I have red in here. Do we have more red than anything else? Did we miscount uh, somehow? I don't think so. I don't know. Hang up to... Spend quite a lot of your time to put two vlogs out a week. Oh, yes. And editing and having the content to film and... You're not really making any profit out of that, are you? No. No. It's and more it's... for the fact that if you enjoy sharing that with people. And it gets so that people enjoy watching it, enjoy contributing a little bit towards that. Well, we had one lady who no one's put it in a, in a way that it never occurred to me. Yeah. She said, well... Uh, she, she's one of our patrons. She said, well, I'm, uh, I get a lot of enjoyment out of watching you. Yeah. And she said... And they do get a little bit extra for, for that contribution, don't they? Yes, and she said if I would they, they go to the some... movies, yeah, exactly. uh, that cost me, uh, with two people, Yeah. it cost me about $50, $50 at now, with everything, yeah. with, you know, going, parking, yeah. um, having... Uh, popcorn or something and I, and she said and um, I don't enjoy that that much and watching you gives me so much enjoyment so I really want to th this yeah. is my way of th saying thank you yeah. for providing me with entertainment it's helping you to be able to carry on doing that <laughs> and it's, it's like this she said it's, it's a mutual thing and I thought yeah. that was actually a way I never thought about it and you know and then other people of course who, who really like to help out with the historical aspect of yeah. the, the chateau and so there's just... other people that wouldn't be able to afford to do that but right. they still get to watch you you don't charge yes. them to watch they still get to see what you're doing 
And it's, it's a choice, yes. isn't it? And I think it's just lovely that people have, um, you know, you don't need to be on Patreon or so to be a supporter. No. You know, just watching and leaving a comment, subscribing and saying to your friends or family, yeah. hey, watch those people, you know, watch Tony well, and watch Jane. Watch efforts. That and helps. It's only a few pennies, but it all helps. Right. And oh, so actually, lovely. that's really, that's just reminded me is the fact that one lady commented after we did the vlog about the stone tabletop. Yes. And Tony lifted it. Um, she commented, I watched all the efforts because I think you're going to need some physio. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true, it's so funny. Oh, that really made me laugh out loud. Blue. Yeah. How are we doing? Oh, you're yeah, getting, look, it's getting smaller and smaller. We're getting less and less on the table. It doesn't look like it. Right, one, hang on, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> well, you're way past halfway. I am? Yeah. Okay. Met actually uh, former Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands. Oh. So there's the Eiselmeer Dam, so they, they uh, the Dutch, because they have had so much flooding, they build a whole dam. Yeah. It's the Eiselmeer. And so it's blocking off the North Sea. And with my parents, I was, I don't know, like 14, 15, and so we were standing there, and in the middle there's a parking lot, so you can just stop there. Yeah. It's quite large, and we, because it was the RV, so they made coffee, and we're sitting there, and whoosh, a motorcade came in, and it was the... Queen of the Netherlands, Queen Beatrix, <laughs> came out and waved and, and shook yeah. hands and so I was standing there so a little got smacked. <laughs> but that was lovely, so I've met two yeah. crowned heads of state. Oh, there you are. And I'm not any better for it either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But I have to say they were all, I mean, they're very, very kind. Yeah. Uh, Oh, oh, red. Red. And why? We're going to have storms tomorrow, I think. Possible thunderstorms tomorrow. Again? Yeah. Oh. Well, they, they say that quite often. And because of where we are, sometimes if you get a storm, it's really bad. But you can yes. quite easily miss a storm. Right. But they obviously warn you that there's a possibility. And but there could be one five miles away, and we wouldn't even have a clue. But it will that's go, true. Yeah, it's such a big area, a flat area. Um, uh, like I did, I found you didn't like when we had those giant hailstones to warn yes. you, and you didn't even get it, did you? No, nothing. So, yeah, quite often happens. And I mean, for people that uh, to understand, we don't live far apart from each other. No. <laughs> About 10 minutes, yeah. 10 15 minutes maximum drive. Yeah. Well, I told you uh -huh. to divorce. <laughs> well, we're getting there. <laughs> okay, there <you> go. <laughs> wow. Brilliant. There's loads of it, look. Brilliant. We've done really well. The tiny face. And the dogs, look. They want to yeah. come and have a look. So, <laughs> Oh, no, we haven't finished yet. Yeah, but. Hey, don't overstretch. Oh, no, 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 so 18, so when we're got, when we're done, 27 meters. Yeah. Plus 40, but that's plastic. This is ah, so, oh, well done. How much more do you have to do? Uh, another nine. Yeah. So that's just under a third. Yeah. About a quarter then. Yeah, actually that is, you've done three quarters. But two thirds, I thought. No, if you've got nine left. We had 36 of each, so if you've got nine of each, that's... Oh. Wow! <laughs> that looks pretty good, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? I mean, I'm impressed. My first Buntingham. Bun Buntingham? Buntingham? <laughs> no, it's not Bunting, not Buntingham. <laughs> Brilliant. This is, this is really cheerful, actually. Yeah. Brilliant. This is a little hooray to King Charles. You want to go together and then I'll get the middle again and we'll uh, 
Hold yes, and I, so because I need this a little longer because I need to fill it. Fill. Hey. Fantastic. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hold on. Okay. Thank you. Yep. It's like a little dance. It's like it's almost like the Morris men tone. <laughs> It's almost like the Morris dancers. <laughs> you missed a bit. <laughs>